it. Welcome to San Francisco's G News, where you get all of your gay in just one day. We bring you the top LGBT stories from the left coast and around the globe. With a unique perspective only our gay bubble can provide. Tube in every week and keep in the know on the latest trends, hot topics, and who's messing with your human rights now. So join us with your hosts, Celsa Boulay and Lisa Cohen. Get all your gay in just one day. From the city by the bay with San Francisco's G News. This week on G News. The HRC shames Trump with a creative protest. A new study from UCLA reveals the billions of dollars that states lose by being anti-LGBT. Help LGBT immigrants with a sexy calendar. Plus our out and about and crush of the week. All this gay coming your way. Right here on G News. Nothing against the bottoms, but this segment is all about the tops. In December of 2017, just last month, mm -hmm. the Trump administration ordered the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, incidentally the agency that's in charge of protecting all of our lives, that they were restricted from using a certain set of words. And they are? Diversity, fetus, transgender, vulnerable. Entitlement, evidence-based, science-based. They suggested that instead of using the term science-based, that the CDC should instead use this. CDC bases its recommendations on science in consideration with community standards and wishes. The director of the CDC, Barbara Fitzgerald, said in a statement, Science is and will remain the foundation of our work, and that the CDC remains committed to our public health mission as a science and evidence-based institution. Well, the human rights campaign and artist Robin Bell showed their outrage for this order with a protest titled The Band Project. They projected the message, we will not be erased, along with all the banned words, onto Trump's hotel in Washington, D.C. Good. <laughs> right? I think this is awesome. I, this artist has done similar things like this before where they projected other things onto the, onto the hotel. But this is just ridiculous. You're telling the CDC not to say that they have a science-based data. <laughs> and words like fetus or transgender or diversity, what? I, I don't even know why that they would consider banning those. It's ridiculous. So totally I'm, ridiculous. I'm glad that the human rights campaign and the artist Robin Bell did something like this because it's great. And it'll increase awareness for sure. Yes. And we should just, maybe next time, Robin, just Trump is a joke. Trump is an idiot. Just <laughs> other, others, he's insane. Small hands. I don't know. Anything that anything incites him. <laughs> we'll get out of this eventually. Yes. But thank you, HRC. And thank you, Robin Bell. Um, yes. This is really ridiculous, but. That we'd even have to do this. That we even report this, but there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Could anti-LGBT efforts cost states money? Well, a study out of the Williams Institute from UCLA School of Law says yes. North Carolina could lose as much as $3.76 billion over its anti-LGBT bathroom law. But the study showed that states like Texas are losing millions because of the disparity between LGBT people and others. This disparity leads to depression, binge drinking, drug addiction, and homelessness. If they just lowered the gap of disparity between treatment of people in the LGBT community, they could save $540 million annually. That's true. And $1.6 million of that cost is in Medicaid and shelter expenses alone. And they also have very similar results in Georgia and Florida. It just goes to show that a happy and healthy, inclusive society is beneficial for everyone. Absolutely. Do you buy a calendar every year like we used to do back in the old days? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> I used to buy the ones with all the little stickers to help you organize your life. What's the stickers? It, I don't get the... It's like you have an appointment for a dentist and you see you just stick a dentist thing on the... It was oh, very fancy. Um, and it, it didn't really work out that well. <laughs> So now, the last few years, I've been buying locally produced calendars by our drag queens. Mm. Suppository Spelling has one. And the last one I just bought has a bunch of different drag queens, one on each page. These days, the digital era, everyone has some kind of digital scheduling something, right? Whether it's Google or some kind of app. But I really love hanging a calendar on the wall. It's a good reference. Yeah. And if it has pretty pictures. Pretty pictures. <laughs> It's even better when it's for a good cause. Yes. If you haven't gotten your calendar yet, there is still time. The Mr. International Freedom Calendar is 
perfect. Not only do you get to look at a speedo-clad hottie each month, but the proceeds of the calendar support the LGBT Asylum Project. The Asylum Project is a San Francisco-based nonprofit that provides pro bono legal representation for LGBT immigrants who are fleeing persecution and seeking asylum in the U.S. The men featured in the calendar were contestants in the annual Mr. International Freedom Contest. They represent 11 different countries, including San Francisco's own Jethro Paddling Hug. We love Jethro. We love Jethro. He was our Mr. Gay last year. He was. I was on the uh, judge panel for that contest. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so talented. So talented. Oh my he's gosh, a, he sings. Dances. He uh, is a, does movies. He produces yep. and he's directs movies. He's done documentaries. He's, he's just so talented. And he's a sweetheart. That's true. And he's hot. He's so hot. He is really cute, yes. <laughs> well, you know, he's my he's my Filipino people. Right. He's like your brother to me. <laughs> no, he's wonderful. We absolutely love him. I'm yeah. glad he's part of that calendar. Yeah. And for too. the Asylum Project. That's awesome. Since its inception two years ago, the Asylum Project has helped 35 immigrants on their journey to freedom. So when you want to get your calendar, just look at the link below and pick one up. You can get it now. Right now. Get it, quick. <laughs> Hurry, you won't know what day it is. <laughs> I think they'll figure it out. Jeff, Jeff but you need waiting. the calendar. <laughs> it's that time. Let's go out and about in San Francisco. This week's out and about is an event that we went to, which is so cool. I, I can't even, don't have the right words, so we'll just tell you all about it. It's called <laughs> Resist Nine Inch Nails, The Downward Spiral. And one of the organizers, Profundity, says that it is art as a catalyst for direct and meaningful action. That sounds terrific. It's so profound from Miss Profundity. <laughs> <laughs> Very well put. Resist had performances by Ray Light, Stanley Frank, Profundity, Lysol, and so many more. The event was joined by many social justice organizations who are doing work on causes such as racism, sexism, xenophobia, Islamophobia, homelessness, media accountability, income inequality, and more. The event's tagline is rock out, rise up, get active, and resist. resist. <laughs> and your husband takes amazing pictures. Chris Knight, leftcoscenes.com. Keep doing what you're doing because that looked great. We'll put the information down below so you can check out the Resist. You can go next time, yeah. find out the details. I'll have and, to go with you. <laughs> and also where to see Chris's photos. Yeah. His definitely. website's down there too. That's important. <laughs> is that your heart beating? No, it's our crush of the week. This week's crush is very near and dear to our hearts. Yes, she is. And I think a lot, a lot of people here in the, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, she is just incredible and amazing. And I think, really, uh, all of what she does reverberates not just here, but to the LGBTQ community around the world. Yep, I agree so too. She's involved in so many things and so many projects, and she does so much good work. And she's my mom. Yeah, she's, she's my drag, drag mom. mother. <laughs> <laughs> Juanita Moore is a local drag queen, mother, DJ, chef, philanthropist, and activist. Known for her infamous naked dinners, annual pride event, and the two monthly parties at Powerhouse, Beat Pig and Power Blouse. She has another title to add to her resume. Which is? Contributing writer for the Bay Area Reporter. Well, good for her. I know. And she's very active in the mayoral campaign coming up. That's she's actually true. endorsed Mark Leno, who mm -hmm. you may remember from episode 100. And she actually made a Facebook page, which is the House of Leno, which she's, I think, planning to call City Hall once he gets I, in. I love that it's a house of anything. <laughs> right? You could actually join the House of Leno on Facebook. Could she do any more to win our hearts? <laughs> I don't know. But because of everything that she does, honestly, she's just fantastic and beautiful and brilliant and powerful and strong and artistic and political. Yes. She is our crush of the week. Just, Just look, look at, at her. her. Well, that's it for this episode of G News, where you get all your gay in just one day with your hosts, Celsa Dulay and Cameron Steele. If you're watching on YouTube, remember, please subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscriptions. And if you're watching on Facebook, then like and share. Because that way, no one will ever miss an episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. This week on G News. That <laughs> startled me so much. Like, All right, one more time. Sorry.
<clears throat> Action. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This week on G News? The HRC shames Trump with a creative pata. <laughs> <laughs> this week on G News? The HRC shames Trump with a. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more time. This week on G News? The HRC shames Trump with a creative project. Protest. Let's do it again. Something like that. <laughs> protest. 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 Not a project. That's why it's I don't know what she's talking about, Cameron. No, no. <laughs> I don't even know her. Oh God, is she Syria? For the okay, Bay we area. need to stop. I'm sorry. I said absolutely like 500 times, and he said absolutely amazing right after me. <laughs> so, I noticed. Back to the top, please. Now we're doing amazing? We did absolutely amazing. You can say ab fab, you can say marvelous, you can say fantastic. We said absolutely can... amazing. Yes, you did. Yeah. No more absolutely, no more amazing. No absolutely, no more amazing. This week's crush is very near and dear to our hearts. Absolutely. Here. <laughs> yes, she is. Can I just say that? Yes, yes. yes. She, she is. is. Oh, wow, you got the clapper. <laughs> By himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's I, learning. I learned. <laughs> so that's okay. it for the episode of the Why are you high him? That's it. That's that it. I totally brilliant. nailed it. That was brilliant. We didn't ask you somebody please, but it's about it. Yeah. Okay, I've got it now.